All right, what up, what up? Alexander Fresco here, Visuals AF is here, and today we are gonna be reviewing some film that I shot on my point and shoot film camera. Um, I've been into film for a while now, so I feel like I pretty much got it down packed, you know, kind of been doing my thing, and kind of, you know, can feel up to the point where I can review some things, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. So, the film stock that we shot with uh, is Sense Steel 50D, but, Thing about that is uh, the role I had expired in 2020 or was it 2021 yeah I think I got the role in 2020 and it expired in 2021 whatever it was it was expired so these are the shots that I've taken uh, with that film stock uh, the sense deal 50d and yeah I'm gonna be reviewing it so this is my first time seeing what I got first time seeing what I uh, took so you can get my honest reaction and you know can see what we come up with all right so let's get to the first one so with this one um i like it um just the first the first shot i was just testing it out making sure everything was good um but i really enjoy looking at it it's real nice i like the colors of it i like the way it, it turns out why is it not zooming in come on and zoom in no, that's not what I need. This one, okay. But yeah, I like the way it looks. Um, I really like the point and shoot that I use. I use a, um, a Canon tele shot. Um, it's real, real dope. I like it. Um, and I like the way the colors look on it. It's real nice, real simple, real, you know, she, I like it. I fuck with it. And then with this one, um, I like this one as well. Um, just you know, just getting the names of the exhibit. I went to uh, see. I went to the art museum in Jackson, Mississippi, um, to check out a friend's uh, art exhibit. Um, they had they well, a couple of uh, people I know in Jackson. They uh, got their art in the uh, art museum in Mississippi, and I wanted to check it out. And yeah, so these are all the names that are in that exhibit. Um, yeah, these are just names that, that's in the exhibit. Um, I used a flash on it, and I really like the way it came out, too. It's not overblown. It's not, you know, whatever. Um, and, and I like it. And it also gives the um, the names and where they're from on there as well. So I like the way that looks as well. So, and like I said, it's expired film, but it still came out looking good to me. I really like it. It's very detailed, very sharp. I feel like I've gotten that part down for a fact. Um, I know how to work the camera that I got, so I'm gonna always do it. But yeah, this is my friend um, Monica, and she did that art piece. Um, she does kind of something, something, something similar to like a mixed uh, mediums. Uh, I know she has the uh, the crochet on there as well. Also, with the painted piece is in there as well. I like the way it looks. It's real nice. I should have got one by. I should have got one of the art pieces by itself as well. So let's go to the next one. So I just wanted to get another shot. Um, I put that focus right there on her face and then, you know, line my photo up. And I like the way that I center it as well. So with this camera, I feel very confident in, you know, how I shoot with this camera. So I really uh, like the way this photo came out as well. Would it have came out differently if it was, uh, if it was um, not expired? pretty sure but you know it is what it is i like the way i like the way it came out it looks real nice to me and then with this one i like as well um yeah i kind of wish that um i didn't get her uh i think it was her grandma's hand in there um but overall um i kind of probably could have uh lined it up more as well but still for the most part i like the photo um like I say, I put the, the focal point uh, on her, then I position it up and stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, it look good to me. I like it. I mess I fuck with it. And then with this one, uh, his name is Quasi. Um, he's another artist that was on that, um, that um, those list of names and his art work, his art pieces, his art pieces in the um, museum as well. And uh, yeah, I like the way this came out too. You just same old, same old. Find that focal point, line it up to where you want to put that focus at, and then yeah, I just framed it up and did it. 
go to the next slide. So then I want I wanted to get like a, uh, a portrait of it, like a portrait of him. I like the way it came out too. And that'd be like one of my main things too. I want the uh, I want the photo to come out uh, as clean as possible. I want I want 36 out of 36. If a, if a film roll come in 36, I want 36. I want I want all of them to make sense. And I feel like that's what I did this time. But as we go through, we'll see. I know I messed up one for sure, because you know, whatever. But um, but yeah. I like the way this came out. It's real, real sharp. I like it. Real nice on the colors as well. I dig it. And then um it's the next one. I like the way this looks and feels too, you know, don't overfill. You know, I think I lined it up good as well. And you know, put them in that thirds. Uh it looks real, real dope. I like it. I dig it. I really, really dig this one. It's real nice. Yeah. And then you can see more of his art piece as well. Let's go to the next one. So then with this one, um, I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm pro I probably will uh, edit this up, but it's just the way that the green tint is on it. Um, it's like a green kind of tint. And uh, still... It's in focus, and that's pretty much what I really, really care about. You know, um, I know I'll probably fix it up, but it's in focus. I didn't tell him to push or pull it or anything like that. Probably was push. Yeah, I ain't telling to push or anything like that. You know, uh, it, it exposed it longer. But I like the way this turns out. It's a nice portrait. Everything is lined up, and then that's really what I'm looking for. Uh, is it lined up perfectly? Is it in focus? And that's be like be the main thing I'm looking for. So so far, everything is in focus. Everything is ten out of ten for me. So then with this one, um, I was going around just looking at different um, art pieces, and I came across one. I came across this. It was kind of like a '90s kind of uh, art piece, art exhibit. And I was just like, you know what? I probably would never have this type of photo feeling. It, seeing that exhibit, it kind of brought me back to being back in that era once again, back in the 90s, of how a 90s or late 2000s uh, era would be. So I just took the photo just like this. I like it. Uh, I put that focal point uh, on this ashtray and, you know, I made it do what it do. I kind of wish I would have put that focus point on the cassette i kind of feel like that probably would have been for a better picture so that the photo could be uh directly uh it'll it'll catch my focus dead in the center versus going up you know but still you know as long as it's sharp it's, it's good to me let's go to the next one so then with this one yeah i like this one a lot um yeah just you know some photos some magazines uh still the same the same exhibit um and still it's the colors is sharp um the old school you know magazines i like the way it looks um i dig it i dig it a lot it's just a nice photo i really enjoy it um still give me that old school feel you know all right, so now we'll go to the next one. And with this one, I really just had, um, was going around the different exhibits. Um, I was just, I really just wanted to see my, um, I'm gonna be honest, I just wanted to waste the film. I really wanted to make sure my camera was good to go. And also to practice on my, well, on my camera, practice on my point and shoot camera so that I can, you know, make sure I'm setting the focus right, make sure I'm framing right. And then that's exactly what I was doing. Make, you know, just really testing my camera, making sure everything was good. Um, I like the way this came out as well. Um, the grain is really nice, um, very sharp. It's not overblown. Um, and I always stand at least the arms and arms length from my subject because my camera can't go up that, you know, I don't think any camera can, or point and shoot can, but I, my point and shoot camera can't go and be like a, a, a wide lens, like a micro, like a micro lens is what I meant to say. It's not a micro lens. So I really just can't get up. It'll be out of focus. I got to stand at least the arms length. Uh, whenever I'm taking a photo, but I like the photo. I like this photo. Uh, this is exactly how it looked. I think with the film stock itself, it kind of gives me off like a green kind of tint. Like especially whenever um, the light isn't, I guess, very bright. 
probably should have took some outside. No, I did take some outside. I sure did. And uh, we'll, 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 we'll get to that. But it kind of gives it like a green kind of tint. Uh, but I put it with the flash. It's very sharp. The framing is nice. I like it. I like it. All right, let's go to the next one. So like I say, more art pieces. Um, still, you know, put that focus on there, frame it up. I like this as well. Still also practice, but just, you know, being different. All right, next one. All right, then with this one, um, I like it, I dig it. Um, it's real nice. Um, I wish that flash wasn't so prominent in the middle so you can see the whole thing, but you know, it's all Gucci. We're gonna make it do what it do. We're gonna make it do what it do, but it's a very nice art piece. I like it, I dig it. All right, cool. Yeah, if you're still, so far, everything has been sharp on the money. Framed up real nice. I like it. I'm getting better. I know I'm getting better. All right, and then with this one, still, just wanted to, you know, get some film wasted and whatnot. And also, just see what I got going. Um, I kind of wanted to go for, like, a different... Because the, the wall itself is purple. It's supposed to be purple. And then the couch, that was the right color for the couch. Um, and also, as I see as a... Um, as a kind of re reoccurring theme, um, the way that the shadow, whenever the flash takes off, the way that the shadow uh, overcast from my point and shoot, um, it kind of, it kind of like, look like it's just going, like the flash isn't like, it's only like that certain kind of thing. I feel like at the same time, if I were to go back and think about it, um, it's probably whenever I put it on like on like portrait mode. And it zooms in, and it only gets like a lot, like a, only like a certain part of it. That's probably why I did, because it did that same thing when I had the um the the photo of a uh, quasi him and him and that certain what I was talking about with the with the over the green overcast. But that's okay. We'll go to the next one. All right. So this is an exhibit outside that they got going on. Um, Everything's framed up really nice. Everything is sharp. Like I say, everything's been sharp so far. So I'm, I'm trying to make it, you know, shim 36 out of 36. You yeah, feel me? But yeah, this is the, um, the shot I got. I think I had got another one without the flash. Go to the next one. But yeah, I think I got another one without the flash. It was either without the flash or. I just wanted another shot of it or a better frame of it either or it's sharp I did it all right cool let's see and then uh, still kind of want to waste some shots where that focus at it is in focus okay cool I just put it on a laser just you know just a whole different experience colors is there everything's nice and I wanted to get the blue sky in there, but it kind of looks blown out. But it was a, a nice sunny day though. So kind of wanted to get that blue sky, but you know, it's all good. I dig it. That's really all I wanted just to, you know, make it look cool. And then with this one, um, I put the focus on the big leaf right there and it looks good to me. Still, I think everything kind of got like that green kind of overcast. But I'll fix it, you know, whenever, whenever. But for now, I'm digging everything. It's still sharp. I like it. Looks very healthy, very creamy. All right, let's go to the next one. So then with this one. Hmm. With this one, I probably was too close. Where that fuck is at? What is the focus? The focus is all the way back there, but I wanted to. I wanted it to be right there in that center part, but it looks like I missed. I did miss my focus because it's focused on that black thing that's in the back. So I missed my focus by that much, and it kind of threw off the whole thing. But that's okay. I like the way it looks anyway. Probably can make up something else. But it's just one of those things I gotta remember. But I did miss the focus on this one for sure. 
It wasn't my this, this photo wasn't wasn't my intention. My intention was to put that focus on that middle flower, but it's okay. Go to the next one, and then with this one, where did I put my focus? The focus is on that back flower. You know what? I think it's whenever I was doing these, the, the previous one and with this one, this flower, I think I put it on uh, portrait mode. So that's probably I was I was I'm, I'm off on the portrait mode. Um, I put the focus, I guess, how it would normally be, and then I just try to frame it up. Even with this one, the framing is off. The framing is off as well. Um, so when it comes to portrait, I'll just the the one when it's supposed to portrait mode, I just have to remember, you know, put it back in that smaller box of what it is. But it's okay, you know. We still learning. We still, you know, doing what we are doing. We go to the next one. So then with this one, more flowers. Um, the sun was out as well, and they still kind of get and this gives off a green tint as well. I know I missed my focus on this one because my main focus ain't on a thing. I feel like with the past three ones, it's the same. I did the same thing. I must have had it on portrait mode. And it's off. And all other focus is in the same exact spot. All other focus is in the same exact spot. So, um, one of those things I got to remember. But it's okay. We'll go to the next one. Same thing. Green tint. Where my fuck is at? Where my fuck is at? Where my fuck is it's not It's not where I intended for it to be still. Uh, these photos would have been, these flower photos would have been nice, a nice little screensaver or something. I think it's the same thing. My autofocus is in that middle left uh, point. But it's okay. I'm go to the next one. Okay. So then with this one, I like this one a lot. I feel like anybody can make this one, make it look happy. Um, I think I probably messed up my focus on this too. Cause it's not, the focus is not in the center. It is on these green things in the, in the behind, but it's all good. I don't see them. Let's go to the next one. So then I left the art museum and I went to, I went driving and I was just like, man, I'm trying to waste this. I'm trying to get done. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be all done with this, you know? So I went driving, seeing this building that I've shot before, but I was just like, I wonder how it would look on this film. I like the way it look on this film. I really feel like it's dope. I wish I would have had a model as well in front of it, uh, but that's how Gucci. And then I took another photo as well of this building. Um, I think with this one, I put it on portrait mode. Well, I probably know, I, I don't think I put it on portrait mode. I probably just went and got closer up to the building. But still, both of the photos are similar and I kind of did the same thing as well. And then I was driving, driving, driving. Uh, I almost, I almost about to get on the, um, the highway and I was just like you know let me go see about this other little spot this blue spot um uh, I've been eyeing for a little minute and this and this photo came out pretty good as well it's very uh center it's in focus it's in focus for sure for sure I like the way it look nice real nice so then with this one um from the previous videos um that I've done the most recent videos. I was doing like a, a mic drop video. I did like three videos in one. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just made to do what it do. That's how I coach you. So I put the self timer on there. And yeah, I put the self timer on there. Uh, I put my microphone uh, right where I would be, and then I go up. And then whenever I'm not in a frame, I'll just move the uh, move. I I would move the um the mic the mic uh, stand, and I'll stand in that spot. But as I'm looking right here, I see that my uh, tripod uh, stand is in the way, and 
it's in the way of all of them as I can, you know, preview and see throughout the next one. But um, but yeah, this is me. Um, it's not overblown. It's real nice. Um, I just wish that my tripod stand wasn't there, but at the same time, I know I can fix it. So it is what it is. It's all Gucci. So then, same thing with this one, just a different pose. Um, I don't know. It kind of gave me like a green tint. It kind of reminds me of like a um, like a um, Kodak gold. It's kind of giving like a, like a gold kind of warm kind of color. But I like it. I dig it. I like it. So let's go with this one. I think I was trying to recreate one of my pictures that I've done as well. But at the same time, as I see, the focus is off. But it still look cool to me though. I dig it, I like it. And I like my red hat too. Ooh, <laughs> this one is definitely out of focus, but it's okay. I don't know what I was even, what I even put the focus on. I probably put the focus on wrong. No, what, yeah, I probably just put the focus on wrong. The framing is right, the focus is wrong. But it's okay. Ooh, so with this one, Framing is off, but like I said, like I said before, with the um, I guess because it's I don't know, I don't know what it is, but uh, I, I did put this one back on portrait mode, and it gives me off a off a uh, greenish kind of tint again. But it's okay, I still rock with it. I dig it. That smile though. And then with this one. The framing is still off, but I thought I had it, you know, down on the pack. My framing is off and my focus is off. The focus is probably behind my head. And there was very light room for error dealing with those. Probably because I just brought it closer. I, I remember, I do remember bringing it closer up as well. So I'll probably just keep it um, back for the next time I try to decide to do some self portraits. So then with this one, um just wanted to get some more self portraits, you know, self timer still. And uh yeah. I dig it, I like it. Pause is what it is. It is what it is. It's okay. Ooh, and this one was the last one. Um focus is not there. Frame is cool, but you know, we try. It's all good. Can't be in front behind that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Ooh, I don't know why this one is last it's out of order for sure. But I miss my focus on this one as well. It's right behind it. I can see it right there. It's right behind it. All of these are probably was just too close up. I don't know. But all of my focus was off on the flower photos. It's out of order, but it's okay. I'll get it right one day. But yeah, that's me reviewing my film. Um, one day I will have that perfect 36 out of 36, and it's gonna be lit. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it happen. I'm claiming it. We're gonna make because it's gonna be a, a, a cool 36 out of 36. You feel me? But um, but yeah, that's my role of expired uh, since still 50D. Um, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me and continuing to rock with me. Um, let me know what you think of these shots. Leave a comment below. Um, until next time, Visual AF is here. And yeah, thank y'all. I appreciate it. Visuals as.